Here are the top stories making tonight's news. Ministry of Agriculture opens new RBPR laboratory and CSS Junior Achievers to represent Federation in Company of the Year competition in Jamaica. The details are straight ahead. A ceremony held this morning at the Agriculture Experimental Station signaled the opening of a rapid bioassay of pesticide residue laboratory. The laboratory is jointly sponsored by the Republic of China on Taiwan and the Davis Island Administration's Ministry of Agriculture. Permanent Secretary Eric Evelyn made the welcome address. Persons have become more critical in what they eat and of course persons want to be healthy. And persons do not wish to consume fruits and vegetables that are still laden with pesticide residue. And that is why it is important that when we have production of fruits and vegetables that we have a facility that can test these products to ensure that what we are eating we are eating healthy and we are hopeful that once this facility is opened that it will be utilized by our farmers and it will be utilized by our supermarkets and the hotels director of the department of agriculture keith lee amri also addressed the ceremony this rapid bioassay of pesticide residues laboratory we paved the way to ensure that our farmers provide food free from pesticide residues. The lab would focus on the detection of organophosphates, insecticides such as malathion, diazinon, and the carbamate group of insecticides such as seven, and also the fungicide group, ethylene bis carbamate, for example, those fungicides such as mancozeb and zineb, these fungicides are manganese or zinc base. These insecticides, unfortunately, affect the nervous system of the target pest, but it also affects the nervous system of humans as well. That is why it's very important that we have this lab here to test residues. The Honorable Alexis Jeffers is the NIA's Minister of Agriculture. Agriculture would have to play its part in ensuring that we achieve our goals and objective of feeding the island of Nevis. And by all means, if we can, fire, uh, if we can f feed uh, neighboring islands as well, that would be the objective. But first and foremost, let us do what is necessary to feed ourselves. And this particular pesticide residue lab is going to help us to ensure that we are providing clean, wholesome products and produce to our people. We'll be better off as a result. So I want to thank you, Ambassador, and please convey our, our, our heartfelt thank you to the people of uh, the Republic of China, Taiwan. And we are hoping that this is just another one of those uh, contributions that you're making to agriculture in a whole line of other contributions to come, which we'll be thankful for when the time comes. Uh, that would ensure that the partnership continue to bear uh, fruits. The new rapid bioassay of pesticide residue, RBPR Laboratory, was unveiled by Premier the Honorable Vance Avery and resident Taiwanese ambassador to St. Kitts and Nevis, His Excellency George Gawei Chow. The cooperation between the Taiwan Agricultural Technic Mission, the Nevis administration, and the farmers in Nevis have reached a new era. The first rapid bioassays pesticide residue laboratory have been built in St. Kitts at the middle of this year in order to balance the agricultural development of Nevis and the St. Kitts. A second similar laboratory has been completed by the assistant of the Department of Agriculture of the Navy's administration. The technician at this laboratory will provide free service for pesticide and the fungicide detection to farmers. Unlike conventional chemical detection methods, this technique only requires 40 minutes to complete the procedure. And the fungicide will take about two days. In the end, the laboratory will help the newest administration promote the fruit and vegetable safety mark certification system and help the consumer to choose the high-quality local agro products. 
The unveiling of the lab was followed by demonstrations by the RBPR team of Quincy Bart and Andy Wu. Five participants in the Charleston Secondary School's 2014-2015 Junior Achievement JA Company Program traveled to Jamaica earlier today to represent St. Kitts and Nevis in this year's JA Company of the Year COY competition. The goal of the competition is to create a signature showcase for Junior Achievement and the students who benefit from the impact of the JA Company Program. Teachers Carolyn David and Kenrick Liverpool will chaperone the team. This company took part in the annual local junior achievement company trade fair in St. Kids and for the second time we were awarded the winning company and as a result of that we were presently we were selected as a finalist for the annual Company of the Year in Jamaica. For the first time in Nevis, we were selected to go to represent the Federation at COI Company of the Year. We are all excited and um, I, I promise that um, we will be um, representing the Federation. We are going to be putting on an electrifying um, presentation and we hope that we are going to emerge the Company of the Year. At the December 3rd to 6th event, students from Canada, Latin America and the Caribbean will present the results of their enterprise and learning experience and appear before a panel of independent judges who will determine their company performance. On behalf of the group, I would like to say that we are honored and thankful for the opportunity to go to Jamaica and represent our federation. The name of our company is Nature's Fantasy. We specialize in making spoon decor clocks and vases and also mirrors. The team comprises Shanai Lybird, Indra Joylal, Jarrett Green, Tassai Pemberton and Naomi Thompson. According to Principal Edson Elliott, the students' participation is being made possible by the Nevis Island Administration. And they have earned this trip. And this trip has made, was made possible due to the sponsorship of the Nevis Island Administration. The Charleston Secondary School is extremely grateful to the Nevis Island Administration. Um, in particular, Mr. Kevin Barrett, who uh, was the one responsible for uh, making sure that the students and teachers would be able to travel to Jamaica and, and return. We really would like to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to all of our sponsors along the way and we we're happy that we are able to make our sponsors feel proud we wish the students and teachers well and we are hopeful that they'll be able to bring back some victory with them from jamaica to win the company of the year award a team must not only run a financially successful ja company but also demonstrate an understanding of how and why its company performed as it did and balance the business achievements of the team as a whole with each member's individual personal development still to come then i was wondering if is that i am getting old that's why they shows me <laughs> The details after this break. Hey, you know it's your groovy so common king, your boy Speedy, and I'm here with the Inland Revenue Department. And I love my side dish. And guess what? I also love Nevis too. And as a responsible taxpayer, your tax dollars help to build our nation. So I'm here to tell you, pay your taxes on time and be a responsible citizen. And don't get me wrong, it's a serious song. I pay my taxes. Boom! Welcome back. In its bid to create a jolly Christmas setting in Nevis, the Department of Community Development has commenced its series of Christmas tree lighting ceremonies. The island's grand Christmas tree lighting ceremony at the War Memorial in Charlestown is taking place this evening under the patronage of Stony Grove resident Stephen Hanley. Earlier today, we caught up with Director of Community Development Janet Maloney, who told us that Hanley was selected because of his contribution to his community. Stephen Hanley has, as a boy, has been involved in a lot of community service. 
such as debating and the cadet and know he's well known for his outlang standing service to the cadet and molding the life of a lot of our young divisions and so because of that um con selfless contribution that he has made um, the department thought that it was good to award him at the national christmas writing so mr handy we are grateful and we do appreciate the the service that you would have given to the st paul's and to the wider extended division community and um, we just want to ask you to not get weary in well-doing and um, you will see the um the benefits of from the seed that you would have sown over the years um in molding the life of our youth and keeping our island safe and so we want to say a heartfelt thank you an advocate for positive youth development, Hanley has been actively involved in the Nevis Cadet Corps as a member from 1988 to 1998 and as an adult instructor since 1998. Hanley also continues to make an invaluable contribution to his church and the wider community. He has served as president of the Shiloh Baptist Youth Fellowship, Sunday school teacher at the Calvary Baptist Church, and peer tutor for the Nevis Public Library. Library's homework assistance program. Ten years ago, Hanley initiated and continues to maintain the Fayola Pemberton Memorial Award, which is presented annually to the Gingerland Secondary School student with the most outstanding CSEC physics results. Meanwhile, during a recent interview with Curtis Morton, the host of NTV's The Social Development Outlook, Hadley spoke of how he feels about being selected to be this evening's patron. That surprised me as well because then I was wondering if it is that I am getting old, that's why they chose me. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking that I don't think that I have the set of accomplishments that I have seen in previous patrons in order to, to make the cut, if you want to put it that way. So I was surprised and humbled by the choice. I would just like to encourage every young person to get involved into, in something positive. It, as I say, it doesn't have to be the cadets, but any youth group, get involved, be interested, and uh, just continue to do that to the best of your ability. And I would also <coughs> like to say to... Place God first in everything that you do. In 2012, on the 29th anniversary of independence, Handy was awarded by the Nevis Island Administration for his sterling contribution to the Nevis Cadet Corps. Meantime, as the Department of Education prepares to host tomorrow's schools and concert, Education Officer Cynthia Grenian says this year's event promises to be an excited experience for families. Grenian is the coordinator of this year's schools and concert. The theme this year is the greatest gift of Christmas. We will be focusing on sharing, giving, and the reason for the season, Jesus Christ himself. We know that our schools are having their own Christmas concerts, but this is a culminating activity where all the schools will come together and showcase the talents of our children well, for the program this year, we're going to have choirs, dance, dramatic dialogues, and a good time of eating and having fun. This year's schools and concert will feature a number of other treats for not only students, but also teachers and parents. Particularly, we will have something very new this year. It's called Gift Wrapping Contest where we're going to focus on the theme, Greatest Gift of Christmas. We'll have three representatives from each school. We'll have a parent, a teacher, and a child. And they will come together and plan how they're going to wrap the gifts. And we are looking at the time that the gift is wrapped and also the creativity that is being used. It's, it's focusing on sharing. So as they would have wrapped the gifts, they are going to get the gifts. And not only that, but we're giving tokens. We have Lucky Dip will be there this year when they're going to get tokens along with what they would have dipped for. So everyone will be blessed by being at schools in concert this year, focusing on the greatest gift of Christmas. Grenian is extended an invitation to the public to attend the 31st edition of Schools in Concert. The date for this 
will be on Thursday, December 3rd, 2015 at 6 p.m. sharp at the Cultural Complex. The cost for the tickets, $15 for adults and $5 for the children. But those who are participating will be free. And for the preschoolers also it will be free. Tickets for tomorrow's concert can be purchased at any of the island's schools. Schools and Concert is being sponsored by Rams Supermarket, Best Buy Supermarket, Four Seasons Resort, Hosford's Value Mart, and St. Kitts and Nevis Angola Trading and Development Company, TDC. That's it for this evening's edition of the Nevis Newscast. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing. Good night.